Do you have a favorite beatitude or, or one that has significant meaning to you? Well, uh, James, when you were mentioned earlier that sometimes, you know, we see these beatitudes and it, it says, you know, blessed, um, like in Matthew 5, 4, blessed are they that mourn. And it's like, how can you be happy if you're also <laughs> mourning? <Yeah. laughs> right. And, the, and um, as I was studying this, uh, you know, I, I thought about my, my mother. My mom passed away a few years ago of cancer. And this was a really, really difficult time for me personally. Um, and, uh, but I think back about the time where we, she was in the hospital and we knew there's days before she was gonna pass. My siblings and I gathered, my dad was there, and it, we, were, we were in this state of mourning, uh, my mom and her life. And, and, um, but I look back with such incredible fondness of that time period because the veil was thin mm -hmm. and we were so close to the spirit and there was this moment of, of just like pouring your heart out to, to God to like understand his will. Like we didn't, she passed young comparatively. Mm -hmm. We didn't want her to pass. And, um, and I remember vividly people that, you know, you say mourn with those that mourn, that, that friends and loved ones who reached out in a very personal way to me and lifted me up during this time of deep, pain and hurt. And um, it wasn't, you know, I don't think uh, like happy, but I think about maybe a different form of happiness, this joy or peace or comfort. It says here, for they shall be comforted. Um, and that brings, it is this true source of happiness mm -hmm. for me. So that specific beatitude stuck out to me as I read, as I thought about my mom and, 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 and that period of time of deep mourning.